So apparently Rondale Moore squats 600 pounds in the weight room. But what can we expect to see from him when he's on the field? Like most Cardinals fans, I'm excited to see Rondo Moore suit up and make plays for the Arizona Cardinals. But with actual football months away, I decided to take a look at how I think the Arizona Cardinals are going to use Rondo Moore in their offense. I'm also going to make some projections for the kind of statistics I think he's going to put up this year in the receiving and running game. But I think his most immediate impact is actually going to come in special teams. From the onset, I think there's a good likelihood that Moore becomes a key player in the return game. He has experience returning both kicks and punts at Purdue, and his overall elusiveness and running ability make him an ideal candidate to be the primary kick returner and punt returner for the Cardinals. But the Cardinals didn't take Moore in the second round just to be a kick returner. So let's look at how I think they're going to use him in the passing game. If you've been watching Cardinals games over the last couple of years, you've seen this play over and over again. Short passes and screen passes to Larry Fitzgerald near the line of scrimmage as sort of an alternative to a running play. DeAndre Hopkins will probably continue to get screen passes on the outside, but in the slot I would expect to see a lot of these passes go to Rondale Moore, where his elusiveness and ability to break tackles will allow him to gain nice chunks of yardage on these plays. With that said, I do think the Cardinals will use short outside passes like this in an attempt to get the ball to Rondale Moore in space, where he becomes a nightmare as a one-on-one -on -one matchup with defenders. I would also expect to see Moore run a lot of slant routes and cross routes underneath and in the middle of the field. The kind of routes where his speed and quickness can turn a short catch into a lot of yards very quickly. Now while I do think Moore's going to get most of his work near the line of scrimmage, he has shown an ability to get open and make plays with intermediate routes, as well as making tough catches along the sideline, and even using his speed to make big plays down the field in deep routes. Now early on I don't think we'll see a lot of intermediate or deep plays to Moore, but as time goes on and he gets more integrated into the offense, I wouldn't be surprised to see more of these kinds of plays. But based on Moore's skill set, I don't think the Cardinals are going to use him exclusively as a wide receiver. I think they're going to look for opportunities to use his skills in the running game as well. For example, plays like this end around that the Cardinals ran with Christian Kirk would be an ideal opportunity to take advantage of Rondale Moore's ability as a ball carrier. None of the Cardinals' current receivers can match Moore's elusiveness, and he is immediately the best option for these kinds of plays. This touch pass on a jet sweep to Jonathan Ward from the Cardinals' Week 17 loss against the Rams is another example of the type of play I anticipate we'll see with Rondale Moore this season. So when you put this all together, I think Rondell Moore is going to be an important and versatile part of this offense. But what kind of season is he going to have in terms of individual statistics? I decided to project what I think his numbers are going to look like in 2021. In order to make these projections, I took a lot of things into account. Things like target share for the receivers down the depth chart, how the type of routes I think he'll be running might affect his yards per reception and the percent of those targets he actually catches. And underlying all of this was the fact that there's a lot of receivers who need targets in this offense. I anticipate that Moore is going to be competing with Christian Kirk for the targets that go to the number three wide receiver. And oh by the way, that guy who wears number 11 could throw a wrench into all of this if he decides to come back and play for one more season. So based on all these factors, I project that Rondale Moore is going to finish the season with 41 receptions, 446 receiving yards, and four touchdowns. I also think he's going to get about 10 carries for 82 yards and one rushing touchdown. Though it wouldn't surprise me if the Cardinals got more aggressive in using him in the running game. But at this point in time, these are the numbers I'm projecting for Rondell Moore in the 2021 NFL season. To put these projections into context, I'd like to compare them to the rookie seasons of Christian Kirk, Andy Isabella, and for the sake of a high-end comp, Tyreek Hill of the Kansas City Chiefs. Now it's important to remember that in Christian Kirk's rookie season, he was the number two wide receiver on the roster. Now that was in 2018 with Josh Rosen as a quarterback in a historically bad offense, but he was getting more targets than we would expect Rondell Moore to get this season. And more of his targets were down the field, whereas I think Rondell Moore is going to have more targets closer to the line of scrimmage. So even though Rondell Moore is competing to be the third wide receiver, whereas Kirk was the number two wide receiver, this is a better offense, so I think his receptions are going to be similar to those of Kirk's. But because I think more of his routes are going to be shorter than those of Kirk's in his rookie season, I'm anticipating that he'll have fewer yards than Kirk did. And as you can see, I expect Rondell Moore to have a much better rookie season 
and then Andy Isabella. Now the Tyreek Hill comp I think is helpful for anyone who might think that I'm undershooting on my projections for more. In his rookie season, Tyreek Hill was number two in targets for the Chiefs behind Travis Kelsey, and he still only managed 61 receptions and 593 yards. As much as I would like to see Rondale Moore be a star out of the gate, I have a hard time seeing him having a better rookie season than Tyreek Hill, especially since Moore is going to be the number three or four receiver on this team. Now the Chiefs did use Hill more in the running game than I'm projecting for Rondale Moore, but I do think Moore is going to see more touches in the running game than either Kirk or Isabella did in their rookie seasons. But overall, I think my projections for Moore are realistic when you put them into this context. So what do you expect from Rondell Moore this season? Tell me in the comments below. And while you're at it, please be sure to click like and subscribe to my channel for more Arizona Cardinals content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Cardinal Rule. Thank you.